Hi, it's T with T Quilt, and I'm here with a block for you. It's a great block for a stash buster. So if you already have two and one half inch and one and a half inch strips already in your stash, you're already well ahead of the game. They just need to be at least 19 inches long for this project. I'm calling this project two plus one pinwheels. I'll add the cutting instructions onto this video so that you can have that as well as a visual. But on my board, I have a pink and a purple strip, and they are each one and a half inches wide by maybe 20 inches long, but you only need about 18. So if you have fat quarters, this will be great as a fat quarter buster, or if you have any of the jelly rolls, or the one and a half inch strip rolls, you can use those as well. The third piece of fabric that I have on my board is one strip of fabric that's cut two and one half by 20 inches for me, but uh, again, you only need to have 19 inches for this particular project. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to flip the purple strip right sides together and we're going to sew a one quarter of an inch seam down the entire length. And then once that's done, you're going to go press the seam toward your one and a half inch strip set. So you're just going to press the seam up. Once you do that, you're going to then add the next strip set and sew a quarter inch seam. And again, press towards the one and a half inch strip set. So I already have sewn this strip set for you and I just want you to see on the back where I pressed all the seams toward the one and a half inch strips. And here is the front of the actual strip set. Now the next step is you're going to cut off four and one half inch segments. If you sew a two and a half inch strip with two one and a half inch strips, this should measure four and one half inches. So you take that measurement and you're now going to make square. So we're gonna first square up. And then once we square up, we are going to cut four and one half inch segments. And you need to have four of those. So I will go cut this into segments and I will be right back. I'm back with my four segments that I cut into four and one half inches. And I just wanted to show you off of a fat quarter, this is how much I had left. So this I will use in another string quilt or as a some sort of extra piece. I don't throw those away. So now I just want to talk about this strip set. Say you don't have any long pieces but you have four smaller pieces. You could piece these units separately if you don't have a long strip that you want to piece. So then you would be cutting these one and a half inch strips will be cut one and a half by four and a half and then your two and a half inch strip would be cut into two and a half by four and a half and you could also make it so that these pieces don't match if you want but i think that the block that i'm doing looks better if it matches so let's go ahead and arrange our block so we're actually making pinwheel blocks so we're going to just take our block and we're going to rotate it one quarter turn each time so that we end up with a pink pinwheel in the center. So now we have a little four patch block. I told you this was going to be a quick scrap buster quilt block, but I think you're going to like the outcome. So now we have these four pieces. We just go ahead and do our regular sewing where we just chain piece our blocks into halves. And then once they're sewn into halves, you can go ahead and connect your center seam through the middle. So I have some blocks that I've already done. I will put these on the wall.
12 blocks on my design wall and I actually have about 50 blocks made now so I will be putting these into a quilt top but I just wanted to show you how it looks when I actually sewed my block unit together I pressed my seams again towards the pinwheel fabric that's in the center so that meant that I did that uh, pressing where you press around your block in a circle when I press my seams I'm just going to hold the block in front of the camera I actually just pressed my seams toward the pinwheel fabric that's in the block and I did not unstitch here because I just didn't feel like doing it I just made sure that I had a good hot iron and I pressed it flat so you can see how flat it looks there and here is the front of the block because I pressed them that way now when I put my blocks together all of my seams will be going in the opposite direction so I don't have to worry about matching any seams as I sew they're already going opposites of each other here is one of my quilt tops I ended up having about 60 quilt blocks or so I can't remember what the number was but I decided instead of making one giant quilt, I have a set of twins in my family. So I thought maybe I would make them matching quilts and then just change the border prints that I'm using. So I decided to go with a four by six setting. So I used 24 blocks in each quilt. And I will just show you that I have a second one here. I mean, they're basically the same but so I have two of these and I am going to keep it very colorful and put a pink border on one quilt and a purple border on the other quilt so that they will be able to know whose quilt is whose from the front so I used 48 blocks and I have another 10 that's left I just did a quick count and I will just put those up and I will continue to make blocks like I said it's a great scrap buster quilt and I can add those in and this is one of the fabrics that I am going to use it's a batik fabric the other fabric that I'm using is this purple with a kind of white print in it I didn't have enough of another fabric that I wanted to use that would go with it better but I'm only trying to use what's in my stash and like I said these are baby quilts they are not even two years old yet so it's something for them to use when they're traveling in the car going on trips things like that so I will start working on my border so I hope you enjoyed this very quick video if I get the quilt top piece before it's time to upload this video, I will make sure and include a picture of my final project. But I will see you next time. Bye-bye.